want to become a front-end web developer so that you get hired then here is your roadmap number one learn html and css html stands for hypertext markup language it's a markup language it's not a programming language it will help you to structure your website but in order to look your website good in that case you need to use css meaning cascading style sheet if you use html and css on your project in that case your project will look better if you want to become a front-end web developer you must have very good understanding about html as well as css step two you need to learn javascript in order to add interactivity on your project you need to use javascript on your project every now and then in a website you need to use different type of interactivity like in a mobile menu you need to add a interactivity like button click in a slider you need to use javascript also in a website you may need to add counter scroll to top button and many more situation you need to use javascript if you are good at javascript in that case you will able to do that type of things easily in this stage you should learn javascript properly with dom manipulation step three learn css framework css framework will help you to complete a project in very short time and also your complete project will look better in that case you can choose any css framework like bootstrap material ui tailwind css learning this type of framework is very easy but entry barrier is very low in bootstrap the reason because it's very easy to implement in a project but if you want to implement tailwind on your project in that case you should have good understanding about npm node package manager as a beginner i recommend you to learn bootstrap but if you want to become very good at front-end development in that case i recommend you to learn also tailwind css step four version control as a developer you might need to collaborate with other developer in that case you should have very good understanding about git and also github it will help you to manage your complete project faster and also you will able to track easily who changed this who write or implemented new code on the project and so on in this stage you should learn version control properly step five responsive design nowadays everyone use different type of device someone have mobile phone and also there is plenty of different type of mobile phones and also different type of laptop screen or different type of desktop screen your website should look perfect on every single devices so in order to be a front-end developer you should have very good understanding about responsive design how media queries work and so on if you use a css framework like bootstrap tailwind css or material ui it will very easy to manage your website and also control your website for responsiveness but if you use vanilla css in that case also you should take care on every single device or every single breakpoint so that your website look better on mobile tablet as well as desktop step six web performance your website should look better on every single devices as well as your website should load first on every single device learn how to speed up your website performance how to optimize image crashing you need to minify all css as well as js files if you do these basic steps on your project your project will look better and also your project's performance will be better step seven learn javascript framework when you will work on a complicated and also big project in that case most of the time you will see your javascript file is very messy in order to overcome this type of situation also if you want to add more functionality and want to manage your website easily in that case you should have a javascript library or framework on your bucket you can learn popular javascript libraries like react and also a framework like view angular what is preferable to you you can do just you need to learn also it will help you to build a complex web application in very short time step 8 testing and debugging learn unit testing integration testing and also browser debugging in this section it's not easy to be good at debugging and also testing when you will work on a complex project every now and then in that case your experience will help you to do that so create as much project as you can if you do consistently in that case you will be good at testing and also debugging section step 9 build tools and deployment you should be good at building project and also deployment every project we need to build and also deploy on a server so that user can see the website properly so you should be good at how to build a website and also how to deploy the website in this section you need to understand how web hosting work how domain work how to use ssl on your project and so on step 10 Learn a design tools. Every front-end developer should have very good understanding about designing tool like Figma, Adobe XD as well as Photoshop. If you have good understanding about Figma, XD or Photoshop, it will help you to hire it faster. And if you complete this 10 step, I highly recommend you to build project. You should have at least 3 to 5 project and upload those project on live website. 
so your client can see your projects and after that i highly recommend you to build a portfolio website and also build cv your professional cv as well as your portfolio website will help you to get hired faster and make a professional linkedin profile after you completed all i recommend you to look for local job as well as you can search for online job it can be full time as well as remote plenty of front end web development job is available on linkedin and any other website so search your dream job on linkedin indeed.com and also many other website according to indeed.com in united states a front end web developer's yearly salary is around 106000 us dollar i hope this video is helpful for you what do you think about this video don't forget to let me know in the comment section thanks for watching have a good day and stay safe i am ali hosain signing out